Hey guys, it's Mick. Welcome back to more Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Blind. In the last episode, we made our way to Ding Dong Dell, uh, got our sacred wood stolen from us, and uh, solved some problem back in Motorville with some ambition. And in this one, we're hopefully getting that sacred wood back from, well, from the corner master, but first we gotta get this mouse to confess. Yeek! It's you! Look, I'm really sorry! The thing I stole, it was really important, wasn't it? Huh? What a flippin' transformation move! Looks like this mouse really is your power soulmate. The thing is, I already sold it. I sell things to the local shopkeepers, you see. I just don't know what to do. Don't worry, Pip. Let's just explain to the shopkeeper what happened. I'm sure he'll understand. I'm so sorry, Oliver. Uh, yep, we are back. Yep. This piece of wood, it was me. I stole it. You stole it? A little chap like you. He confessed, didn't he? Then I stole it and sold it to you, the raw. I haven't spent any of the money. I promise. I'll give it all back to you. Yep. Yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> it's a very important item. Now that that little misadventure is out of the way, let's go... Wait, what? And you call... What? Esther, excuse me? Your dreams had driven you to become a thief. What are your dreams? Cloud... That doesn't ring any bells to me. Some sort of flying broom powered by magic. So he... He wants to build a cloud sweeper just like uh, Phil wants to build car. Then, interesting. But uh, yeah, now that now that this little misadventure is out of the way, let's let's head and go talk to the the king and see what we cannot do. See what we can do. Uh, to build the... I already forget what it's called. The the Cal something. I, I'm i sure it will come up in conversation again. Bum, 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 Bum 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 bum. You guys are still having a conversation, huh? Wonder what it's about. All right, your meow, Justy. I have a request for you. I don't know what that request really is, but Oliver and Drippy and everyone should. What's up? It's good to see you again, your meow, Justy. Hmm. Ah, you have returned. How the devil have you been? One has been busying oneself with that rogue, Hickory... D no! No, unless one is very much mistaken, you come bearing the holy word of Al Mamun. That's right, and we wanted to ask a favor of you, your majesty. No need to continue, dear girl. One knows precisely why you are here. So the Caliph chose to entrust the holy wood to you. It seems the time has come to reunite the power of the three kingdoms. Now, dear boy, allow one to do one's royal duty. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh... So... Now, theoretically, we will bring them, bring um, this to to Hamlin, and hope that we don't have another misadventure to go on before this gets completed. But I'm not holding my breath. Yo, Marcassin, we have a request for you. Hello, Marcassin. We need you to finish carving something for us. Blimmin' heck, some of them didn't go to finishing school. Here, heard of the word pleased, have you? Ha, huh, I do enjoy your visits. There is a certain liveliness you bring to every occasion. Now, 
you mentioned carving something? Yes, your majesty. Esther was talking about the clarion. That's the word. That's right. We need you to help us finish it so we can clear a path across the miasma marshes. Ah, I see. Well, you have come to the right place. The clarion may only be completed by the ruler of Hamlin, but I'm afraid there's a minor problem. Namely, that he does not possess all the skills required. As I suspected after Swain's comment. To complete the clarion, one must possess not only magical power, but the talent to carve the necessary holes. While I may have the magical skills, I am unable to help with the more... practical aspects of the process. Why don't you and Swain work together on it? I, I think... I think that would... I think that should work. It, it's not a matter of clumsiness, I assure you. No, the skills that are required are passed from the Emperor directly to his heir. Gee, so your father passed away before he could teach you about this stuff, huh? Well then, we'll just have to go back in time and get him to teach- Not possible. You can only use that spell once. Blinkin' heck, you make it sound so flippin' easy. You only get to use Breach Time once in a lifetime, remember? Ah, oh, you're right. Well then, what do we do? Aren't you forgetting someone? Swain, do you mean... Truly? Did he? Well, I can't promise miracles, but father did teach me a few things, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, your father. Did he... Um... Come from this kingdom too? Only you never mentioned? Uh, alright, alright. I just didn't want to make a big deal of it. Yes, Markasson's my brother, Markasson's my brother, and my real name's Gascon. There, I've said it. Oh, that? We knew that already. We were there, you know. Then why are you so hell-bent on getting me to admit it? Anyway, we can discuss the whys and wherefores later on. The point is, my father taught me what I need to know. And you're telling us this now? If you let us know a bit earlier, we wouldn't have to come all the way to Hamlin, would we? Uh, but Swain doesn't have the magical talent, so... They need to work together. Hmm? I'm afraid it's not that simple. I can't do the magic part, you see. Blippin' heck, so you're no use to us either, is it? They can work together! You know what? Whatever, let's move on. That is not quite true. Ah, so you know what I'm getting at, do you? I suppose it's not all bad having a brain box of a great sage for a brother. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. What cannot be done alone may yet be done together. Is that not so, brother? Oh, I get it. You're going to make it together. Yes! Of course they are! Exactly. Now give it here. Are you ready, Markison? We've got work to do. Yes, brother. I am ready. Hmm. Markison's tall. Wow. Ugh. That thing sure seems powerful. Yes! And they work so well together. <sighs> wow. And we now have the Clarion. Now we can finally clear path to Shadar's castle. Thank you, Your Majesty. And thank you too, Swain. Oh, don't worry about thanking me. But how long is it since we last made something together, Markison? Ha! Do you remember the model pig tank we made together? Bleh, a bloomin' pig tank? That's the last piggin' thing I want to be reminded of. Ha, you'll hear no, no arguments from me on that score. Anyway, let's focus on the task ahead. Clearing the miasma marshes. The clarion looks so beautiful. I can't wait to hear how it sounds. I think you should be the one to play it, Esther. Yeah, Ollie Boy's right. If you ask me, there ain't no better woman for the job. I agree. I mean... I'd love to do it, but I'm tone deaf. I I'll do it! I'll play the clarion and clear a path through the miasma marshes. I truly believe you will, Esther. Thank you, Your Majesty. Come on, Oliver. We should get going. You're right. It's time to head to the miasma marshes. The unbreakable bond between the hearts of two princes has unlocked a story in the Wizard's Companion. The Flute Makers, huh? Uh, I'll, I'll read that at the end of this episode. So, for now, let's just head to the Miasma Marshes. Alright, off we go. Let's head north to the Miasma Marshes and take that fight to Shadar, why don't we? Oh, there's that castle. Um, let's see. 
I assume there's somewhere I have to land and like walk my way there. Do I have to? Do I have to go out, out like through the back of Perdita then? It, it's looking like that is what I'm gonna have to do because I can't land back there. Soon. You'll you'll get your familiar soon. Hello, Queen. Yep, the the Clarion is complete. So can we we head back through here to get the to the miasma the miasma marshes then? Yes, okay. And we yeah, we won't be able to call Tangri from here. Alright. So down we go. Ooh, that thing is like a snack. Um that creeps me out. I I don't like snacks. Oh, they're salamanders. Uh, that's fine then. But yeah, I, it's weird because I used to, I actually used to love snakes a lot when I was like really young. But then somewhere along the way, they just started to freak me out hardcore. And I'm not, I'm not quite sure what caused that. Taking a lot of damage. Ex-girl fiend! Oh my god! What a... What a name! Okay, um... So when is Esther gonna play that? Oh, so the Miyazo Marshes are gonna be like a dungeon before we get to Shadara's dungeon. Which... Won't be the final dungeon because... We still have the White Witch to deal with. And Oliver doesn't even know about her yet, so... Oliver probably thinks his, his adventure's coming to a close soon, but... We we still have a bit to go, I, I see. Miasma marshes. Now we can cross them. Yep, Shadar is most certainly waiting for us. Miasma marshes. Quagmire of corruption. The trees have eyes! Oh no! Uh, well, let's... Let's stop by the save point, just so we can top off our MP and everything. Uh, ooh, looks like this is gonna be a big dungeon. Not that I'm surprised. It's the totally second final dungeon, guys. 
It's not the final dungeon. But... Maybe it was maybe it wasn't the DS version, I'm not sure. Cause the the D, I do know the DS version is called the Dominion of the Dark Jin, so maybe the Dark Jin really is the the final boss in it. I'm not sure. I should look that up, actually. Oh, but if I do that I might accidentally end up like spoiling something for myself, so maybe I'll hold off. But I, but I do know that the Wrath Witch hasn't even, like, revealed her existence to Oliver at this point, so, like, I wonder what's going on. Ooh, the Elusive is now metamorphable. I believe that's metamorphosizing to, um, Form 2, so it's still gonna be a while before... Let's try. Yeah, no, it's still gonna be a while before, um... It gets to the third form, so it's at that, and it's still going to take a good chunk of time before we can get all three of those familiars for the for the guy, but we're getting there. I have all these gems that I haven't used. And I probably won't use. Um, oh, it's a poison. Okay. Well, let's just get that out of the way immediately. So don't step in the water. Got it. Uh, I think I see a chest over... Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I should have just walked into it on my own so I wouldn't have gotten... Caught off guard. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. They both missed! Amazing. Very nice, Swain. Esther... Hang in there. <laughs> These guys are doing a lot of damage. It's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. Ex-girl fiend. I can't get over that name. That's so funny. Okay, so we have... This is just a standard red chest? Cool. It's looking like there's more down this path, and that this path is the correct one. So you know what that means. It means it's time to get into another battle, and then double back and take the other path. Alright, so what is down this path then? A poison puddle right in our path. Fantastic. We're gonna have to walk in that on our way back as well, I see. Can I outrun this guy? No, I can't. I don't know why I even tried. Stay calm now. Just pop out a freaking full part two full party attacks immediately it's cool okay is there anything back here it looks like another poison pond god it oh wait 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 there we go that's what this spell is for i feel like i figured that out at one point earlier and then didn't stick to it. Okay, so there is a red chest over here. At least I think it's red. I couldn't tell. It could have very much been purple. I uh, and I actually think there was a red chest that I kind of ignored in this direction to sort of run around over here. Yeah, there it is. So, let's find my way back over to that. I mean, at least I'm getting experience points. Here goes nothing. Okay, um... So, I feel like, at this point, it's not that there's... any... I should heal. Uh, that I, I feel like that it's not that there's any specific place to go. But rather, just that this place is big. 
so there's that. I, I'm also gonna want to circle back to the start and heal up, probably. Um, let's see, I see a treasure chest over here. This one's purple, so I'm gonna have to... I changed my mind. This is definitely the correct way to be going. Uh, so I'm... I'm gonna cast Vacate so I can go back to the beginning and heal up, and then collect everything that I kind of missed. And also, I should probably re-equip everyone, just to make sure we're all wearing good stuff. Alright, now now that that's out of the way, we're, we're healed, we're equipped, let's, let's trek out to the left a little bit more, and see, see if there's anything I, uh, I missed. And it looks like there is. Is that a green chest, or is that just a blue chest? It looks like it's a blue chest. Not that the the difference between green and and or and not the difference between blue and purple chests matter anymore. But hey, Trippy. Anything? Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Oh hey, we can catch we can catch the wayward sun. Let's see. What do I want to name it? I'm going to name it Jerk because of when it freaking um Am I taking damage every time I hit the enemy. Is that what my sword's doing? Because I equipped a different sword on... But yeah, I'm, I'm calling it Jerk by because of the time it two of them both opened up with <laughs> full party attacks immediately and nearly killed me before I could do anything. There we go. Jerk is now your familiar. But yeah, is that the a secondary effect of the Nightblade? Yes. Okay, so we're not we're not <laughs> gonna use that anymore. Let's let's go back to the flame, the blazing blade. No, oh, well that's just a pain in the ass. But now that we're done here, let's double back and go pick up the chests and such along the paths that I didn't take before. All right, here we go. We got another all be gone, so let's see what might be in the in the other branches I neglected to check out. Oh, is this a a green chest now? No, this is another blue chest. God damn. Okay. Um Let's see then. Uh what's up this pathway? Pray tell. I'm gonna keep an eye on my levitate this time so it doesn't like drop off in the middle of a rigging poison the the poison water and just ruin my day. Alright, now we get this this blue chest here. Um uh, there's Springwalk. And what do we get? A fiend's fang. Okay, now now I've checked all of the the branches that we have not been explained that that I did not explore before. So now let's continue on the main pathway, I suppose. There's a red chest over there that I cannot reach just yet. Have I? No, I have not reached nearly the top half of the map yet. Fantastic. This is going to be a long dungeon. Um, well, let's just keep our hand on the right, I guess. There's a save point over there. Uh, does that mean checkpoint, or does that mean that's the end and then there's a boss up ahead? Uh, I guess I'll figure that out when the time comes. Um, okay, so there's only one path left for me to take. 
The effects of levitate have worn off. That's okay. Oh, I do see a green chest in the distance. I, I won't put levitate back on until I see another water that I have to cross. Okay. Is there... Doesn't look like there's anything down here. Uh, but now I just have to <laughs> find the correct spot to shoot the green from. Luckily, it's right at the edge here, and there's an enemy right behind me. Oh no, what is it? <laughs> hey, buddy! What's going on? Thank God I was able to turn around in time. Esther learned healing him. Ooh, very nice. What does... Obviously, healing him heals, but, uh, what... What specifically does it do? Restores a good deal of that and allies health. Okay, so still single target heal. Dang. Um, okay. Man, these guys see me from so far away. There's nothing I can really do to avoid. I guess I could use Veil, but that's also 9 MP that I don't want to use. And also, it is probably a lot better that I'm fighting these guys so I can get the experience points from it. Oh man, we can charm the ex-girl fiend again. So, so she'll no longer be an ex, I guess. She'll just be girl fiend. That's what I'm gonna name it. I'm just gonna name it girl fiend. Take away the ex. Yes, I will keep the ex-girl fiend. There we go. Girl Fiend. I'm sure Girl Fiend is probably one if it's like, either it's evolved or pre uh, not evolved forms. What the hell is the point of this? Okay. Um. Okay, let's see. I would prefer not to fight. I just want to get to the save point up ahead right now, but it looks like we're fighting. Alright, let's see. Let's look... Look ahead. Uh... Okay. It's looking like this is just the halfway point of the dungeon. Uh, however, I do think I will save the, the rest of the dungeon, and presumably the boss could that the boss is probably that thing Shadar sent with the truth. Uh, I'll save that for next time. So, thank you so very much everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I will see you then.